Please be seated. For our communion meditation this morning, we want to ex examine the Gospel of Matthew, the 17th chapter. How many of you like to go on trips? I know I do. All of us like to go on trips. Whether we go to the mountains, the seashore, or some foreign country, we all like to go on trips. And I can imagine it was no different with the disciples, Peter, James, and John, who wanted to go somewhere with Jesus just to get Jesus by themselves so they could say we spent time, quality time with him. And this is what happens. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before him, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud a voice said, This is my son, the beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus touched them saying, get up, do not be afraid. And when they looked up, they saw no one but Jesus himself alone. The word of God for us, the people of God, thanks be to God. For a few moments, I want to talk about a mountaintop experience. When I was a little girl, my aunt and uncle would take me to Grandfather Mountain. And I would get on that mile-high swinging bridge, and I cut up like you would, well, you all know me. You know how I cut up. I would run across the bridge, and I would run back, and I would rock it back and forth, and my aunt's trying to tell me, stop that. I just had a ball up there on top of Grandfather Mountain. And I could look over, and I could see how the hills just met with the sky in beautiful waves. And as I looked down, I saw what appeared to be a little blue ribbon. But knowing when we came down off that mountain that that ribbon would be a large river. And later on in life, it reminded me when I went to Scotland of looking at the hills, the highlands of Scotland with the deer and the sheep on the hill and thinking how beautiful, how majestic are these mountains. And again, in the distance, I could see little white ribbons, only to find out when we got closer, they were beautiful waterfalls. All of us want the experience of just having a mountaintop moment. And sometimes our mountaintop moments are not on mountains. Sometimes we could be standing at the kitchen sink, washing dishes, and look out and see a cardinal land on a bush and think, wow. Or we could, after a rain, see a rainbow in the sky. Wow. Or maybe we could look at our children who have gotten on our nerves all day, and they're asleep now. And there's something about them when they're asleep. They look like little angels. And you just want to wake them up. But you say, wow, a mountaintop experience. Peter, James, and John had the experience of Jesus calling them from where they were working there on the seashore. And he just said two words, follow me. And now he takes the three of them up on a mountain, one of two mountains that could be listed in the sacred text. And there something happens to Jesus. His face is just transfigured. It begins to glow. His clothes begin to glow with a brightness they had never seen. And so it was with Moses, when Moses went up on the mount to get the laws from God. Moses' face shone. 
and his clothes became dazzling white. And Peter, that impetuous, impossible disciple who puts his mouth in gear before he even cranks it up, Peter said, hey, this is cool. I'm going to build three tents, three dwellings, almost like the tent of meeting that the children of Israel had in the desert. I want to build one for Moses, the giver of the law. I want to build one for Elijah, that prophet. And Jesus, I'm going to build one for you too. Jesus did not fuss at Peter. He did not admonish Peter. He did not get in Peter's case. He didn't say a word. A voice from heaven had already said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Listen to him. And when the disciples looked up, there was no one there but Jesus. Sometimes when you and I look up from where we are, we find Jesus radiantly beaming down upon us to bring comfort, radiantly looking at us in love and care, comfort and compassion. And we can truly say we have had a mountaintop experience. And you know what, church? Wouldn't it be nice if more of us had mountaintop experiences? If a church would have a mountaintop experience, if a community would have a mountaintop experience, if leaders of the land would have mountaintop experience, if rulers of nations would have a mountaintop experience, can you imagine how wonderful that would be? For we would all be on the same page with the maker of music on a mountain. So be it in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.